how we write react functional components how we do the state management in functional component in the previous part we have seen how we do state management in the class level but what is the recommended way and if we are required to do in a functional level component then how we do so how what, what basically react hooks are and how we can make use of this use state state management in class level and in the functional level components what is stateless stateful components lot to see in today's part everything we will see practically one thing just uh, just an update that i'm resuming my previous uh, from my previous uh, playlist that means i'm going to make use of the existing application which i am using so far so if you guys already working with me uh, step by step that is really nice and otherwise you can always uh, get the code from the github location you can find the link in the description and you can continue with that so first we need to create a function functional component and how do we do so so if you remember we have created this employee as a function one so let's replace this come back to this app.js at first let's replace this const employee so this time i want to create an app component which gonna have this props let me get rid of these two things which is the state because this is not the way to make use of states in the function level component and let me comment it out another change we do not need this render method because render is not required in the functional level component fine what next next is we need to return this now app component as well the way we are returning this employee one so paste it here export default you know what app control s now let's for a moment let's comment this and see whether our functional component is working as expected or not press control s so i'm not now making use of this employee we are not using this state and actually it does not exist because we have commented out now let it refresh see we do not have any employee and the buttons that means it is working for us so at first this is how we have seen that how we can you know create a class level component to a function level component now next what next is i want to make use of the uh, react hooks uh, which is the use state so how do i use that so first thing you need to import this like this so this is one of the react hook so once this is imported uh, to your application now you can make use of this now how do i use this so here you could see here is your state right if i just copy this and paste it here so let me create a constant variable really important thing which you need to understand uh, let me create an array and after that i'll make use of this use state what use state gonna do it will contain or hold our object which object this state object maybe you do not need this state right so straight away you have to create this and return object so it can hold these properties in the same way the way it was handling earlier now the important thing which i asked you to notice is that this is going to return you something what it will return you it will return you an array and what it, this array will contain this array will contain two objects so in the first object it will contain the state employee state dot employee employee state dot author and in the second uh, uh, it will contain some sort of function through which you can update the state so maybe you can li write like um, update employee state right you can name it anything so these are the two things which your use state going to return you now once you have uh, added this so the second uh, thing is that how you actually make use of this so first of all uncomment this country control ku now we have the state with us so as i said now this employee state will contain your employees so instead of uh, this dot state let me control h control v we have to replace this with this the moment i have done this so employee state dot employee rest of the things would be same so let me uh, comment this button as of now because we do not still have that method but we have the state let me refresh this or let it compile now i have saved this and do we see uh, we will see uh, something in the output 
heavier. I am an ABC coding locker. I am XYZ coding locker. So we can see that we have the same output, but this time with a functional component and with a use state that is being used in the function one. So that is how we use. Generally and ideally, uh, one thing I, I I want to discuss here. So generally, uh, what 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 happened that we want to make sure that we always use the state in the class level component not in the functional level component although you can do this and uh, um, we have now update in the react js before i think a few versions ago that was not possible even to inject the user state or state management in the function level component now you can do this but the ideal and the traditional way is always to make use in uh, of a state in the class level component that is recommended but we can always, always, uh, uh, you know, make use of the statement management in the in the uh, function level component as well with this use state react hook. So that is the one thing. Now, what next is? Next is that how do I achieve the now same functionality? That means if I want to update my state in, in the click of the button, if I want to update the state, then how do I do this? So if you remember in the class, we were having a method uh, set state but this time we don't have so what we need to do control x one more time this one and here this area here you can see i have to write this method so you can say this itself is a method now we are going to write a method inside a method that is completely fine so what you can do const and again update employee state handler right okay and maybe we can get rid of this line as well so what i'm saying update this one the arrow function and let's remove this as well here we are now it says set state we do not have the set state here so how do i update this i said i already told you this is the second parameter with which you can update the state so instead of this dot state what you can do update employee state and here again you will pass the entire object name and that's all let me control s and also we need to call this method so now we don't need to have this this directly we can call this method right so we do we have uh, we have some errors let it compile one more time and see what we have okay we have everything is fine so let me click on this update my employee info if everything fine then these two will have the updated value see so this is how we have seen that how you can create the functional component how you can inject react hooks as a user state how you can do the state management now the question is and the important thing which you should notice here let's suppose let's suppose you do a console dot log of an employee state now keep an eye here control s and let me open the console log here maybe i can bring it here like this and let me refresh this now focus on the console dot log what we have we have employee which has uh, two objects the abc and xyz at the same time we have this coding locker the author one perfect now focus here what if I click on update my employee name? See, this time we have lost this author property because in the that's the that's the difference that's the difference between the you know class level uh, managing a state management the class level and the functional. In the previous part, we have seen that we were successfully able to retain the state. If you are updating any one object, it was not impacting the other one. But where in the case of functional one. If you are updating just employee one, then the author will be lost. That means it is replacing the entire object. So how do you retain this? To retain this, you always have to create this author as well. That's the one way. So author, you have to always give the value employee state dot author. Let me copy as it is, press save. Now if I save this, let it compile. Let me open my console as well. It is still compiling. Yes, that's done. Now we have the employee. Let it refresh actually. 
we have the employee and the coding locker now if i update this you can see still we have the employee object as well as the author one so this is how you can retain the state but generally that is not preferable it is recommended that you each time create a different state let's suppose uh, you have another object so why not uh, create a different user state to manage that thing and even that is not recommended to uh, you know create that is recommended you can go for uh, creation of the user state in the function label component as well but ideally in the traditional way is the is to create the state in the in the class level as well now if you notice this this is a function level component this is again a functional but we are we are now going to discussing on the last point what is stateless and the stateful so this employee which is not managing the state that is known as the stateless component whereas any component whether it is a class level important thing whether it is a class level or a function level whoever is managing the state that is known as a stateful component that can also be called as a container component or a smart component the reason being is that because it contains the state no matter it is a functional level component or it is a class level component component whoever is managing the state is known as the stateful component and who is not managing the state is known the stateless component point to be uh, very carefully noted here is that we should always try that's the best practice we should try to write the as many as stateless uh, component as possible so that it becomes you know really easy to manage your application that is the recommended way and try to use the state component in the class level of an app at one place so that only a one component is responsible for managing the state and in case if you require to update anything then you just uh, you know know that where my state are getting managed do not allow all the components to you know handle the stage uh, otherwise that would really become difficult for you to man manage or maintain your application that is another recommendations so that is um, all for uh, this part we have covered all these things so uh, if you guys have any query or any doubt anything you want to uh, discuss you can always ping me or comment me in the in the youtube uh, comment channel uh, as of now thank you for being at coding locker see you in the next video uh, have a nice day